Thanks for the invitation. Today I'm going to talk about programming self-assembly of colloidal photonic crystals. Photonic crystals are composite media that provide a platform for controlling the flow of electromagnetic waves, typically because of the existence of a photonic band gap, which prohibits electromagnetic waves corresponding to the gap frequencies to propagate through the crystals. If these crystals are built from colloidal particles in the size range of hundreds of nanometers, we can have a platform for visible light management. Self-assembly of designer colloidal particles appeals as a low-cost scalable fabrication route. However, the most sought-after colloidal photonic crystals have rather open structures comprising low-coordinated colloidal particles, making them challenging targets for programmed self-assembly. Additionally, stacking faults in these self-assembled colloidal open crystals tend to compromise their photonic band gaps. Our focus here is on tetrastack and diamond crystals, the cubic polymorph of which were known to support a complete photonic band gap for relatively low refractive index contrast accessible to colloidal materials. Let us take a close look into this series of cubic crystals, starting from the face centered cubic on the left. The packing fraction gradually drops with a decrease in the mean coordination number. Going by the Maxwellian counting rule, when the mean coordination number falls below twice the dimensionality of the lattice, the lattice becomes mechanically unstable for isotropic colloidal particles. The so-called Maxwellian lattices are in balance and are on the verge of mechanical instability. The, ch the challenge is to ensure that for designer colloidal building blocks, the target structure is not only thermodynamically favored, but also kinetically accessible. The Granik group provided a major breakthrough in self-assembling colloidal open crystals about 10 years back. A pagoma lattice was self-assembled from tri-block patchy particles in a quasi two-dimensional system. Note that this is a Maxwellian lattice in 2D. Here, the designer colloidal building blocks have equal size attractive patches on the poles across a charged middle band. Upon screening the electrostatic repulsion between the particles by throwing salt into the medium, the self-assembly was observed. This seminal work provided motivation for a number of computational studies. For example, Romano and Sotino captured the self-assembly of the Kagame lattice from tri-block patchy particles at low temperatures and pressures and predicted the formation of closed packed hexagonal lattice at higher pressures. The state-of-the-art experimental fabrication has control over the patch width as well. In a subsequent experimental study, the Granik group induced staged assembly in 3D by changing the ionic strength of the medium in steps. However, the first stage produced a distribution of clusters leading to the self-assembly of an amorphous structure in the second stage. For such a two-stage assembly to yield a colloidal crystal, a major challenge is to ensure that the first stage produces uniform clusters for them to act effectively as monodispersed secondary building blocks in the second stage. These colloidal clusters mimicking the symmetry of small molecules are referred to as colloidal molecules in the literature. I now illustrate how we have addressed these challenges in the context of self-assembly of colloidal photonic crystals. Our hypothesis is that a hierarchy of interaction strengths realized 
with tri-block patchy particles can encode hierarchical self-assembly. Here, the patches on the opposite poles are labeled A and B and color-coded to distinguish them. An A patch makes stronger bond with another A patch. The BB bond is the weakest. A bond between patches A and B is not ruled out here, but is of intermediate strength. We optimize the patch width and the range over which these patches interact along with the inverse Debye length by finding the global minima on the potential energy landscapes in the first place. For finite systems, these structures clearly show structural hierarchy via tetrahedra or octahedra for two sets of parameters, both of which encode a hierarchy of interaction strengths. We find that a wider patch width for the stronger patch shown in red and a longer range for the patch-patch interactions favor the formation of octahedra over tetrahedra as expected. The interactions between the weaker patches shown in blue bring these colloidal molecules together. Let me now specifically discuss the self-assembly of the tetrastat crystals, which can be viewed as cornered shared tetrahedra as shown here. In an ideal tetrastat crystal, these tetrahedra are equivalent, but I have color coded them to distinguish between the two sets of tetrahedra. By focusing on this tetrahedron, what I would like us to recognize is that one set of tetrahedra can emerge from the assembly of the other set of tetrahedra. Our designer tri-block patchy particles should then have equal size patches on the poles, but a hierarchy of interaction strengths shown via color coding to encode staged assembly pathways. The crystal structure prediction confirms that such designer building blocks can indeed stabilize both the cubic and the hexagonal polymorphs, which are of equal energies on the crystal energy landscape. Note that only the cubic polymorph was known to support a complete photonic band gap. A series of Monte Carlo simulations with 500 particles under periodic boundary conditions show that a tetrastack crystal can indeed be self-assembled from our designer tri-block patchy particles. If we monitor the number of tetrahedra formed in the system as the system is gradually cooled, we find that the tetrahedra are eventually exclusively formed by the interactions between the stronger patches. A rapid growth of the number of tetrahedra signals crystallization driven by the interactions between the weaker patches. Note that the crystal structures are stable even in the absence of a hierarchy of interaction strengths when we have A tri-block patchy particles rather than AB. However, our Monte Carlo simulations yield an amorphous structure though with comparable number of tetrahedra. The pair distribution functions but the centers of tetrahedra show that no long range order emerges in the absence of hierarchy of interaction sense shown in red. A pertinent question is then how hierarchical self assembly pathways promote crystallization in this case. 
The answer lies in the ring statistics. As shown here, the perfect crystal has six and eight membered rings shown via color coding. The ring statistics show that the two-stage assembly via tetrahedra suppresses the formation of five and seven membered rings which when present prohibit the emergence of long range order. I'm now going to extend this design approach to reverse engineer the so-called rod connected diamond structure which is known to be the champion photonic crystal because it supports the, the largest photonic band gap. Here rods connect the nearest neighbor sides of the diamond lattice. A retrosynthetic analysis on the colloidal scale following the two-stage disassembly scheme takes us to tri-block patchy particles, but now with an elongated core. Because of the tetrahedral voids, we refer to this structure as segmented rod-connected diamond. Such tri-block patchy particles are now indeed synthetically available as shown here. To cut a long story short, the two-stage self-assembly does indeed work as summarized on this slide. The important point to note, it works for a range of aspect ratio values. In the limit of L star equal to zero, we have a tetrastack crystal. However, the self-assembly yields a mixed phase with both cubic and hexagonal components. For the segmented rod connected diamond structures, we find that both the cubic and the hexagonal polymorphs support a complete photonic band gap and the band gaps spectrally overlap. We calculated the photonic band structures for randomly stacked structures. On average, we find that the photonic band gap survives and it can be maximized with an optimal choice of L star Remarkably, the photonic band gap of this segmented rod connected diamond structure is thus found to be robust to stacking faults. Once we understood the physical mechanism by which the hierarchical self-assembly strategy promotes crystallization, we recognize that an alternative route could be established by introducing specific interactions that prevent the formation of AB bonds. We ensure that there are no thermodynamic driving forces for the formation of AB bonds, but A and BB bonds are equally favored energetically. Seeing is believing, this route also yields the crystal. The formation of six and eight membered rings signals crystallization, which interestingly in this case occurs in two steps with a growth of tetrahedral ordering prior to nucleation. This movie shows the two-step crystallization in the presence of specificity of interactions. Let me wrap up with a summary. We have established versatile bottom-up roots to colloidal open crystals for them to be self-assembled from tri-block patchy particles via colloidal molecules. A hierarchy of interactions encode the two-stage self-assembly pathways. Such hierarchical self-assembly pathways promote crystallization. We have established novel routes to a champion photonic crystal alleviating long-standing issues that have impeded the success of self-assembly as a bottom-up routes to colloidal photonic crystals. Before I stop, I must thank my co-workers and collaborators and also the funding bodies. Thank you for your attention.